You and I, Jesus. Just you and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. You are all. You are all that matters. Oh, hey, oh, hey. You are all that matters. Oh, hey, oh, oh, hey. You are all that matters. Thank you, Father. Please have your seat. God bless you. Look at your neighbor, say to him or her, tonight is my night. Open your Bible to Romans chapter 12. The keyboard man will do it together like yesterday. Let no one around you distract you. As I was praying yesterday night, talking to God about today. He quickened in my spirit to tell you. He said, as you are ministering today, he said, I will come and you will know I came. So just like you were expecting, I want to know when he came. I don't know how, but he said, he will come and I will know he came. And I want to know myself. So don't allow anything to distract you. Because one thing is certain, I know he that spoke. And I'm very sure he will come as he promised. Open your Bible to Romans chapter 12 verse 1. I beseech you, brethren. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Verse 2 says, Be not conformed to the world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that which is good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Today's topic is titled, Offering Yourself as a Living Sacrifice. Look at your neighbor, say to him or her, offer yourself as a living sacrifice. Ask him or her, have you actually offered yourself to God? Now, let me start by saying today, the word to offer means to give. To offer means to give, to dedicate, to entrust, to hand over. The one other key word there is sacrifice. What is a sacrifice? A sacrifice is an offering, an offering that is given or a present that is presented to divinity or a deity when somebody makes an a kind of sacrifice it simply means the person is offering is offering something it could be animal it could be vegetable it could be anything to a deity or to divinity in expectation or in thanksgiving or in expectation for a favor so when we make sacrifices people make sacrifices because they want to show gratitude or they want favor thanksgiving these are reasons why people make sacrifices 
the difference between the church of today and the church of several years ago is in one word and that word is sacrifice the church of several years ago the christians of the old and new testament the difference between them and we of today is in sacrificial love the church of today is reward based and comfort based self-centered base the church of the past are sacrificially based they are sacrifice based they are based on sacrifice their actions are based on sacrificial love the church of today the difference is in the key word sacrificial love for example in the gospel of luke chapter 10 verse 25 jesus talked about the story of a young man who wants to complete everything that has to do with god he wants to be perfect before god and man and the bible says and Jesus told him what he has to do. That he has to love God with all his heart. What he has to love God with all his mind. He has to obey the commandments of the Lord. If he can obey them all, he will be seen as perfect before the Lord. And he looked at Jesus and said, From my youth stage, I have obeyed all the commandments. I love God with all my heart and with all my mind. And Jesus said, if you truly want to be perfect, one more thing is remaining. And the man replied and said, what is that one more thing? And Jesus said, this parable to him, Jesus said a man was going on the road and he was captured by armed robbers. He was badly injured. He said the Levites saw him and they passed him. They sympathized with him but they passed him. He said a priest saw him. He passed him. There come another man who saw him and decided to show him compassion sympathizers to sympathize with you simply means to feel pity for you but without backing it with action but compassion is to pity for you but back it with action so when somebody sympathizes with you he feel what you feel but he can back it with action but when he shows you compassion, he sympathizes with you and goes extra mile to offer help and make sacrifice that can help you out of your predicament. The man came to Jesus, to the, to the man that was dying. The Bible says he helped. He bandaged him. He took him to the hospital. He took care of him. He was fine again. He paid the money for the bill. And Jesus said, Who among them is the good neighbor? And he said, The one that made sacrifice. And Jesus replied him and said, Go and do the same. Take all you have and give to the poor. Come back and follow me and you shall be perfect. And the Bible said, And the man walked away. He has done every other thing. But when it comes to sacrifice, he ran away. Beloved, the difference between the church of the past and now is in the key word sacrifice. The church of the past, the people in the scriptures, they make sacrifices for God. 
Do you remember that in John chapter 21 verse 15? Jesus and Peter. After resurrection, Jesus was talking to Peter. And now Peter was complaining. That look at the persecution. Even the master. The one we follow, we don't see him anymore. We don't know what that become of him. He, has, he is dead. We don't even know anything about him anymore. And Jesus said to Peter. Peter did not even know he was the master earlier. But when he discovered he was the master, the master said to him, Peter, do you love me? And he said, I love you. And the master replied, if you love me, do what? Feed my sheep. In other words, if you love me so much, sacrifice for my own. And they were going again. And the master turned and said, Peter, are you sure you love me? He said, I love you so much. He replied again, if you love me, feed my sheep. And they started going again. And he turned again and said, Peter, do you really love me? He said, I do. You know I love you. You know all things. And Jesus replied again, feed my sheep. He said, the time shall come. They shall drag you to the place you don't want to go. A time shall come that they shall turn you to the point that you need to deny me. A time shall come they will push you to the wall, Peter. A time shall come that the problems of life, challenges of life shall be so unbearable for you, Peter. He said, but I pray for you that when that time comes, your faith will not fail you. So I pray for you. You find out that the disciples they have love was based on sacrifice. Do you remember that in Genesis chapter 22 in verse 1 that God himself came to Abraham who was a friend of God. And the Bible says in verse 1 and the Lord decided to tempt Abraham. God decided to tempt Abraham. If Abraham, I know I gave you a child. I know you are a man of faith. Abraham, I know your faith is so big. I know you have faith. Your faith move mountain. Your faith make you to hold on. You head on for more than 90 years to 100 years until you got the miracle. You have faith. But I'm going to test another side of you. I'm going to test another side of you. And God decided to tempt him with what? Sacrifice. And God said in verse 2, take your only son. The, the one, the Bible said, the one you love. And give me. Sacrifice him for me. And the Bible said, and Abraham got up, decided to go and sacrifice his son. Beloved, it was sacrificial based. It was based on sacrifice. God, God test the belief, the faith of Abraham based on love that is based on sacrifice. Beloved, if you look at your Bible again, in Daniel chapter 3 verse 16 downward, you will discover that people offer their life. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. The, the king said, bow down now or you will be born. You will all die. Worship my God. They said they will not. The king said I will give you some days. To go and think about this. After thinking about this. Come back. And give me reply. And they said to the king. Oh king. There is no need to think about this. We are sold out. We are sold out. We love him. More than you ever think. Oh king. If there is any other thing to give out. We can give him. He said, oh king, there is no need to go home to think about it. We have an answer right now. Oh king, we don't need to think about it for three days because we already know our answer. And the king said, what is your answer? And they replied, we will not bow to your God. Even if, even if our God chooses not to. Even if our God decide he won't save us. 
We are not following him because of what he will do for us. We are not following him because he's a healer. We are not following him because he's a miracle worker. We are following him because we love him. Because we know him as God. Our devotion has nothing to do whether there is problem, whether there is prosperity, whether there is healing, whether he changed our life. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But one thing we want you to know is that we are sold out. We are sold out. We are sold out. Our love for God is beyond all imagination. Our love for him is because he's our maker. We shall not bow to another God. And the king said, put on the fire. Increase it seven times. And they increase it seven times. The people increase in it. The Bible said, and the fire in verse 18, the fire burnt them. And the king looked at them again. He said, are you still maintaining your stand? They said, even if our God will not save us, we will not still bow. But this is what we know. We know our God will deliver. He will deliver us. We know, but even if we choose not to, we will not still bow. We are sold out for him. We have sacrificed our life. We have sacrificed our life. We have sacrificed everything. We don't care what becomes of us. Our household is for God. Our life is for God. When we are in the market, we are for God. When we are at home, we are for God. Wherever we are, we are for God. They were sold out for God. The Bible said they threw them in the fire. But their God showed in the fire. Am I talking to somebody? Their God appear right inside the fire. Look at your neighbor say, God never fail. Look at your neighbor say, God never fail. Look at your neighbor say, if you sacrifice for God, it can't fail you. Help me stand up and shout it on the person. Say, God never fail. God never fail. I don't know who I'm talking to, but listen to me. Everybody can love God. Everybody can say, Brad Gibson, I love God. I love God. Is it hard to say, I love God? Everybody can love God. When things are moving well, everybody can love God. When everything is going well, it's rosy, everybody can love God. Everybody can serve God. But when things become tough, God knows those who love him. Everybody can love God. Everybody can trust God. But in the midst of trial, God finds a man he can trust. Am I talking to somebody? Everybody can trust God. Listen to me. The only way to test love is to take love. Put it on the altar of sacrifice. You see, everybody can say, I love, I love, I love my wife. I love my wife. I love my husband so much. I love, I love my child. I love my children so much. I love them. Everybody can say, I love. Listen to me. Until love is placed on the altar of sacrifice. You cannot say you love. The only way to measure love is not in how sweet you say it. The only way to measure love is not how you talk about love. The love I'm talking about is not these ones people are doing on the road. Though. I'm talking about real love of God. That love, if we have to measure how big, we we'll place it on the altar of what? Sacrifice. If you love, you will sacrifice. How big you can sacrifice shows how big your love. Don't underestimate the power of sacrificing love. Because somebody can even decide to die so that you can live if he loves you so much. Am I talking to somebody? If you love to give your money, it will not be a problem to you. If you love to give your time, it will not be a problem to you. If you love your wife, you will give him her time. If you love your husband, you will give him attention. If you love someone, you can give your talent. You can do anything that can help the person to become better. 
whatever is the person we take a higher priority in your list anyone that you love your heart will not be far from there when you see love you see sacrifice everybody can say they love god christians of now can say we love god but when god place our love on the altar of sacrifice how many everything shall be tested by fire every deed every act every belief shall be tested by fire everybody can say i love god but when it comes to sacrificing for god you know those who love god am i talking to somebody as a coordinator some years ago one of our members she happens to be one of the best singer in my praise and worship then she will come from far place she comes with three kids she'll come with three children baby boys too and a girl she comes she's our best singer I mean she was our best singer then she sang and sang the glory of God will come down we don't joke with her on night final night night vigil she's our best whenever she raises her voice something begins to happen we don't joke with her we like to see her come but beloved one day she became seriously sick very sick and I announced at our praise and worship stand go and visit this sister do you know for one month the assignment have not been carried out two months they were carrying her from one hospital to another hospital the assignment was not carried out going to three months when i asked what happened the leader said we discovered that where the sister is living is very far you will enter three vehicles and when you enter the road is not straight it's like this like this like this so because of that we couldn't go and look for her nobody can sacrifice to go down there but she came from there with three children to bless us and as long as she was blessing us we're happy but when she began to die nobody to sacrifice for her that is the reality of life we're doing outreach and we have a sister that owns a very big supermarket one of the biggest supermarket in our side very big supermarket and she said brother gibson you know supermarket you know supermarket if i live there now all these girls they will, they will finish my business so i need to always be around there i can't just live there so when we are going for outreach she will be at the front of her door once we are singing go and tell them jesus i was in for us she will come out my people my people my people my people my people these are my people these are my people these are my people sister you know join us you know my markets now these are my people these are my people the people will sing and go she doesn't have time why of her business one day she became serious her daughter became seriously sick and that first daughter was seriously sick. They rushed her to loot. And in loot, she needed prayer. And she came to me. Okay, my daughter is dying. I need, I need healing ministers to come and pray. And I said, they will come. I went to the leader. The leader said, but she doesn't always have time. I said, forget about that. She, we are to save life. And the leader said, no problem, we save life. And they prepare to go. When are we going? She said, we will go in the morning. By 9 a.m. we are going. Okay. How do we go? She said she will bring out her boss. That her boss will be here after morning mass. That after morning mass by 6 a.m. 
the boss will be here with herself. She will wait till 9 a.m. The business in call. She leave business now. I'm talking about my daughter. You talk about business. My business. I'm talking about my daughter. I'm talking about business. This is the only daughter I have now. I, I, I'm talking about business. You are talking about business. This is the only daughter I will get. Beloved, do you know that money? Heavy rain began. That kind of rain that you can't leave your room. That rain started falling. Till 4 p.m. The rain didn't stop. Beloved, they couldn't go for the outing. In the evening, we came for prayer meeting. The sister began to rake. Look at these people. Your people didn't come. And tomorrow you start singing. Inside the sun, I will follow Jesus. Inside the rain, I follow Jesus. Rain fell. I was here waiting. And nobody showed. Are you following me? Are you sure you are following me? Tap your neighbor. Say, are you still here? Are you sure you are still following me? Good. Now, beloved, nobody went. They said they will go the next day. Before we know it, the next day, we had the shocking and the most painful thing to everybody. The girl died. I, the members were crying. Everybody was weeping. Everybody was crying. But I don't know what to say. We are crying for her. But the point here is on the day of someone else she never had chance on her own day nobody knows what happened we want to but destiny didn't allow it be for whatever a man so is hurried back am i talking to somebody what are we saying today does it mean that the leaders would have not gone we would have gone there we were willing to irrespective of what have happened but even while we say yes destiny did not allow it to happen it didn't go according to plan beloved offer yourself as a living sacrifice as you are sitting down now the question today is am i self-centered am i selfish is it just my family is it just my life is it just myself? Do you know about last month, tears dropped from her eye in our estate. A young guy in final year was coming to his own brother's house. They were just remaining two. Two. Two people. Two people. And the brother got there much and they say help help just do okada okada man helped with a bike and carried one to the general hospital to come back and carry the second one who happened to do the brother by the time they will move him he's dead but the phone they got from him they called this brother. He was the last person they called. That the brother that is, the guy spoke with. Where are you? The owner of this phone had a motor accident. Where? They told him at the roundabout. He said, where? They told him at some place. He said, oh my God. Oh my God. My God. My God. I stopped. I stopped. But I didn't know. I didn't know that he was my brother. He passed not knowing he would have saved his own blood. But because he thought it was somebody else, he ended up being his own blood. What does it mean to offer yourself as a living sacrifice? When the Bible says offer, myself as a living sacrifice it didn't say a dead sacrifice the Jew if you check your bible very well from Romans chapter 1 to 11 
Apostle Paul was actually talking about mercy of God. What Jesus have done. He said the race is not to him that will it. The race is not to him that run it. But the Lord showed mercy. You know, he kept talking about mercy. He kept talking about mercy. But when he get to chapter 12, he said, Therefore, I beseech you, brethren, by this same mercy of God that you offer, which means Apostle Paul was moving this generation to the next level. Romans has two parts. The first part, chapter 1 to 11, is on mercy. Chapter 12 to 16 is the response of humanity to mercy. The response of humanity to mercy. So from chapter 12, verse 1, Apostle Paul said, Therefore, I've been talking about mercy of God. I've been talking about what Jesus has done for you. I've been talking about everything about Jesus for you. Now, you respond to the mercy of God. Respond to the mercy of God. Offer yourself. In other words, why did he say I should offer myself? The point is this. Sacrifice, I told you, is to present something to a deity, to a divinity, for favor, for atonement, or for, 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 for thanksgiving. Now, in the Old Testament, all through the Old Testament, every time you see sacrifice, men take animals and they offer blood of animal on the altar even when they need remission for sin they do what we call atonement they will take two different lambs and then they will cut one the priest will take that one and enter into holy of holies and pour the blood on top of the holy of holies in that holy of holies have a kind of a small kind of what will i call it coffee type of thing and he has three things inside Number one he has inside is what he called the tablet of stone that Moses used. The second thing there is manna. And the third one is the rod. These three things are inside the holy. Inside the ark. Inside that boss. Covenant boss. And it's called the ark of the covenant. And the king, the, the priest will take that particular blood. Pour it on top of that place. And when he pour it, he will offer a mission of sin for himself. And when he sin as I sent something in the realm of the spirit. I sense it right now. I sense and I hear right now a woman that has the womb. The womb have been ruptured. They say the womb. Doctor told you this womb cannot carry baby. Why? Because something has gone wrong with the womb. And your womb has been ruptured. But God is about doing a creative miracle. A creative miracle, a creative miracle, a creative miracle is about to happen in your life. If you are that person, shout amen. I feel like confirming what I hear now. If you are there and that person is here, run to where I am. I want to lay my hand upon your womb. I will count it. I will count three. If I don't see you, that one is gone. I go on with my message. If I don't see you, that is gone. Doctor said the womb has been ruptured. But God said right now, there can be a creative miracle. There can be a creative unction. There can be a creative miracle. Because Jesus paid the price. He paid the price. He paid the price. Once and for all. Once and for all. The master paid the price. In the name of Jesus, receive creative miracle. Receive creative miracle. Receive creative miracle. In the name of Jesus receive creative miracle in the name of Jesus receive creative miracle in the name of Jesus of Nazareth receive creative miracle receive creative miracle in the name of all other name receive creative miracle receive creative miracle by the power of the Holy Ghost receive creative miracle receive that creative miracle in the name of Jesus Receive Receive it in the name of Jesus. It is done. 
Somebody just wave your hands to him. You are tired of Receive creative miracle in the name of Jesus. The anointing is working in our body. Yes, you record in Hey, what you you receive a Shalana now hear me Jesus paid the price once and for all he gave his life and his life was sealed with blood in the old testament the offer animal in the new testament Jesus started the sacrifice and ended the sacrifice by giving his own life for God so loved the world and he gave this from that moment sacrifice moved from just animal to people someone giving his life now post to post say when he gave his life he got mercy for you when he gave his life what is mercy mercy simply means God canceling the punishment you deserve what is grace? Grace simply means God giving you what you don't deserve. So when God know that you have committed abortion and your womb has been removed, you may ask why did God do what he just did now? It's because of what he's about teaching you right now. Because mercy means, you say how can somebody somebody you may not like the face of the person but if god decide to show him or have mercy there is nothing you can do about it woman being look at your yesterday to predict your future but god doesn't work like man god look at your today to predict your future and he said the days of your ignorance the lord will overlook so even if you have made mistake before but right now you have contacted the presence of god you have given your life to god god said your yesterday Today, my mercy will write it up and start from today and predict your future. Somebody raise your hand and shout hallelujah. I am talking about the mercy of God. As we get set to pray, beloved, Apostle Paul now said what I love. He said, Offer yourself as a living what? Another word. Whatever is offered does not belong to you again. Did you hear what I say? Even if it is animal, once it's offered as a sacrifice, it is not the owner. It's not for the owner anymore. Once you offer something as a sacrifice and the altar in any way, you don't own it anymore. It has gone. You can't just come back and run back to carry it. No, 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 no. It has been offered. It's no more your own. So in other words, Apostle Paul say, offer yourself. Not sacrifice of just ram and cattle alone now. Take yourself. Take yourself. Take your eyes. Take your hand. Take your life. Take your money. Take everything. Take your treasure. Take your time. Offer it unto God. Offer yourself unto God. Jesus offered himself to save you. Now he's saying, offer yourself to save others. Offer yourself to save your life. You need to offer yourself in how? He said, by being holy. By being holy. He said, by being holy. That means offer a living sacrifice. Every other sacrifice is a dead kind of sacrifice because it's an animal that that has to die the sacrifice the animal has to die so once the animal die the blood is poured on the altar but if you offer yourself jesus said you don't need to die you just have to offer living let the living soul praise the lord let everything that have breath praise the lord let everything the bible says offer yourself As a living sacrifice. Offer yourself. 
How can I offer myself? Brother Gibson. Brother Gibson. I should offer myself. Do you remember that when Abraham said, took Isaac to the altar, he has already offered Isaac. God said, I have seen your heart that you have given me Isaac. And God said, you have already given it. Because you brought Isaac to the altar, you have tied him, presented him. And God said, you have given me. God is saying to you right now, offer yourself. Offer your eyes. Offer your hand. Offer your life. Acceptable to God. How? By being holy. Holy. Holy unto your God. And presenting reasonable service to the Lord. Service to the Lord. In other words, offer yourself. You say, Brad Gibson, what are you saying? Must I kill myself for the house of God? Listen to me. The disciples of old, the gospel they preach, a sacrificial gospel, not this kind of one we preach now. What they preach was sacrificial gospel. A gospel that offered their life. A gospel that gave their life for. Do you know that Jesus preach this gospel he died and used his blood to seal this gospel to prove that he love you for God so loved the world he gave up his only son and Jesus said what manner of love is this for a man to lay down his life for his brothers that is love do you know that the disciples that you are talking about that we want to be like them they offer their life for the gospel do you know how many times Paul said I was jailed I was nailed I was hit I was pinned I was in prison just for you but the gospel was not in prison I did it all for you this gospel they gave their life do you know how Peter died they turned him upside down he gave his all John the beloved was fried in a kind of oil he gave his life he gave everything and he didn't die he did everything Apostle Paul they passed through things they suffered for God they passed through a lot for God but look at me and you the doctrine the doctrine of comfortability entered into the body of Christ and turned the body of Christ to what the doctrine supposed not to be and they begin to tell you you don't have to die for God you can't carry your church in your head when you must you keep your God self for your church must you carry church upon your head is church your father's business is church your father's house must you keep yourself my friend and because of that that is why you don't want to keep yourself for church because you don't even know anything because if you know you will understand beloved that the church is your father's house you will know that the church is your father's business that God is your father that even the Joseph that is the father, biological father of Jesus was not the main father. Your father is a caretaker. Your real father is the almighty God. If there is anyone I should die for, I die for my God. What is life? What is in life? What is in life? God said, offer yourself. Offer yourself. Look at what Apostle Paul said. I saw what Apostle Paul said. Tears dropped from my eye. In Philippians 1 21, he said, For me to die is again. But if I live, then is Christ. If you read verse 20, it will shock you. Apostle Paul said, What else can I say? About a man who gave all for me. What else can I say? About a man who gave everything. As for me, Paul, whether I live or die, my only life is in Christ Jesus. And he said in verse 21, for me to live, I don't know any other person than Christ. But if I die for him, then he's a king. In verse 22, he said, But if I live, I live to save others. I live to the Philippians. He said, I live for your own good. If I live, I live for your own good. So then God he said, Offer yourself, offer your time. You have given your best to shine, you have given your best to adultery. Many people have offered their life. 
to fornicate in life. Some people have offered their life to excuses. Some people have offered their life to television. Telemundos. Many people have offered their life to their phone. He ruled their life. He ruled their life. I've seen somebody who died of heart attack because he lost his phone. He said, everything. My life is in the phone. My life is in my laptop. Everything, my life is in the laptop. Biggest life from hell. Your life can never be there. You may have lost valuables, but it's not your life. But God is saying today, your life is in God's hand. Offer yourself as a living sacrifice. Make a decision today for me to live. I serve the Lord. Listen, this kind of message is not for everybody. Not everybody like this kind of messages. What you will like now is how you prosper. Your life will change. Your life will never be the same. God will raise you up. Listen to me. From tomorrow on next, God will do more than that for you. But my Bible say, seek you first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Every other thing shall be added to you. Somebody raise your hand and shout hallelujah. I feel something happening here. I hear in my spirit. I will make my life your dwelling place. Somebody's crying as I will build. I will build your throne in my heart. Spirit, come Lord, come and take your place in our life. Everybody, lift up your two hands and sing it one more time. Come, Father. Yes, my, my life, life, my life, your dwelling place. I will build. I will build. I will build. Your dwelling in my heart. Come, Father, come, Give it all to the Lord. Come, Holy Jesus of Nazareth. Come, take your place. Yes, Lord. He Everybody lift up your hand and say, I will make my heart your dwelling place. And I will make my heart your dwelling place. Yes. And I will build, I will build it. your throne in my heart. My God, my God. Come, Father. Come, Father. Come, come, son. come my God. Come, my Lord. Come. Hear me. God is asking a question in my spirit. He said, where are you, Janet? He said, where is the gift I gave you? He said, my daughter, where are you? Where is the anointing I gave you from the beginning? Why did you throw it away? He said, look at you. I used to talk to you before. But I don't talk to you anymore. Because you have turned your back against me. You have become a complainant. You know more about everything about me. He said, that is why I don't do anything in your life anymore. He said, I don't do much in your life anymore. Because you are doing it your way, not my way. He said, look at you, my son. You gave your all for me. You sacrificed for me. You carried your ministry in your head on my behalf. You did everything because of me. He said, because they didn't visit you. Because they offended you. The good work you are doing for me, you abandon it. What I send you, you will not do it again. You never show up anymore. Because, because man provoked you. You became angry with me. Because man provoked you. 
Did I provoke you? Did I disappoint you? Did I fail you? Did I fail you? Why have you abandoned me so suddenly? Because man failed you. Because man disappointed you. Because man failed you. Am I man? Am I man? Am I a man? I am God. Did I fail you? Did I not give you life? Did I not heal you? Did I not save your daughter? Did I not save your husband? Did I not help you when you call me? Why will you abandon me? Because of people. Because of people. And glory fill my soul. My sins are worse. Stay away. And my darkness was done today. God is not too well. My son, what did I do wrong? The cry you will cry when the saints are gone. Cry it now. Can you sing for me? There is something singing in my spirit. I will click now to the old rugged cross and I shall exchange it. For a crown. Everybody. Is there anybody who wants to go back to the cross? Is there anybody who wants to say, Lord, I come out of my shell for you. Today, I make a new resolution to go back. To the old rugged cross. That's what I'm looking for. On a hill far away. Lift up your hands to heaven. To the old rugged cross. Yes, Lord. Where every man so free and sure. He put all on the cross for my sake. The old rugged cross. Shanana mana rebosi atalabas. Lord, I'm here for you again. Somebody burst out and cry out to your father. What happened to you? What happened to you? So the rugged cross. So my truth. Is there anybody dead to lay it all down for my and life? To the old rugged cross. Yes. And the changes on the old cross. At this leadership stand is a man who laid down his whole life. When it was so painful, so free. Hear me. He laid down his life. When it was so shameful, so painful. But suddenly, suddenly, he became angry for what make no sense. He became angry with God because of man. Man failed him. His closest people failed him among these leaders. They failed him at the time they should speak for him. And your faith went to zero. The God is saying now, why will you abandon me because of men? Did man save you? Did man send you? God said, I send you myself. This night, God wants to bring back every gift that is there. Are you hungry with God? Are you hungry with Him? Because God is in our midst. Onisha, Iyanu. 
You are the God of awesome wonders. I have tasted of your power. Do you believe him? Onisha Yanu. Kai. You have shown me so much mercy. This night. Onisha. My eyes have seen. My ears have heard the wonders of your name. Creations bow in our of you, and we join to see your praise. Lift up your hands. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Is there anybody here tonight? You want to go back to God? Do you want to offer yourself? Is there anybody who is ready to say, God, whatever you want to use me for, use me. Anywhere you want to send me, send me. Where are those days? Where you carry your megaphone? Where is your megaphone now? Your megaphones are dead in your room. You never enter any bus without preaching. What happened to you now? The boss evangelism is dead. God is asking my daughter, where are you? My son, where are you? Because people mock you. That is why you don't preach anymore. If you are ready to bear the shame for the Lord, he will clothe you. Is there anybody here who wants to go for the Lord? Who wants to sacrifice all for the Lord? Who wants to say, Lord, from now? No more drunkenness. No more adultery. No more excuse in ministry anymore. If nobody will go, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Lift up your hand and hand over all. Sorrow, Hallelujah. Now, hear me, sister. Hear me. You are with me. Come. We are working together. God bless you. Look at this. A man was I read in a book of a man that was falling from a very high tree from about three to four story building and as he was falling as he was falling he was screaming because he has missed his leg and once he missed the leg if he go to the floor he will die and suddenly when he was falling he was screaming, Lord help me! Lord help me! Suddenly, he saw a plumb plumbing pipe that shot out. And he grabbed hold bam, and hold the plumbing pipe that straight like this and hold it. So, he was dangling and holding the plumbing pipe. And he was screaming, Lord! Save me! He was still holding the Bible. Lord, save me. And the voice replied, Son, do you want me to save you? And he said, Yes, Lord. If you save me, I will serve you all the days of my life. And the Lord said, If you want me to save you, remove your hand from the pipe. Do you think I can save you? He said, yes, Lord. He said, then remove your hand from the pipe. And the man screamed, my life depends on the pipe. The only thing holding me is the pipe. The only thing holding me is this boyfriend that is paying my school fees. If I leave him now, I may not finish my school. I will not. That woman that I married, if I leave him now, my life will collapse. 
If I don't compromise anymore, I lose my job. This is the only thing I'm holding to you without the drug. God can save you. God is saying, This is the only thing I'm holding. That doctor is my life. God said, No, he's not your life. I am the greatest doctor of your life. Hey, man, hey. Is there anybody God is talking to? Is there anybody God is talking to? And the man suddenly, immediately, he looked up to heaven and he screamed, I know you can save. As he screamed, he removed his hand. He never knew that right on the floor, there are places where they pack all these grasses that were caught. And the pilot, and pilot, and pilot, and pilot. He didn't see that. But as he was landing, he thought he would land on the floor. He landed on the grass. He bam! And he broke his leg. But he didn't die. And the Lord said, I allow you break leg so that you will know you actually fell. But I save you from dead because I am God. I am God. You are God from beginning to the end. You thought help will not come. Help is coming. Help is coming. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's have that song again, beloved. You are God. You are God. From beginning. Everybody lift to up your hand and say to him. There is no place for argument. You are God. You are God all by yourself. Everybody say it to the Lord now. Come on. You are God. Come on. From beginning to the end. There is no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Hear me. You are times. And and seas seas is in your, your hands. hands. Are you hearing that? You got the light. Out of the place. I tell you, you, you don't need a man, man to be the God you are. <laughs> you you your mercy. You've got me your God. Me your Everybody say you are God. You are God. Yes, Lord. From beginning to the end. Yes, Lord. There is no place for argument. You are God. You are God all by yourself. Everybody come on. You are God. You are God. You are God. From beginning to the end. Yeah. There is no place for argument. You are God. You are God all by yourself. Oh, you are God. up your right hand to heaven like that man you will tell the Lord I remove my trust from man today the Bible said cause be him that put his trust in man today I remove my hand from my past today Lord I remove my hand from my yesterday I'm holding Today, whoever have hurt me in the past, I let him or her go. Today, whatever has happened has happened. Today, I release myself for you. I release myself for you. I release myself for you. Open your mouth now. Open your mouth now. Wherever you are, open your mouth. Go ahead and pray. Talk to God now. Whatever I hold you past, 
You release yourself from him. Who hurt you? Talk to your God. Talk to God. Who broke your talk heart? Talk to him. Talk to him. Oh God. Who has hurt you before? Who broke your what heart? What has broke your heart? I talk to your father. Talk to your father. I go ahead and pray now. I talk to God. Talk to Let him. Woman Whatever I've been holding in the past, God. you may move your hand on him. Yes. Talk to God. Talk to God. God. Who has broke your heart? God. Who has hurt you in the past? God. Child of God. God. Present yourself to him. God. Talk to your father now. God. Talk to him now. God. Talk to him. Now, God. talk to him now, God. talk to your father. God. Go ahead and pray. God. Whatever I hold you in the past, whatever that yesterday I've been holding you on, oh pray to your father. My you may use yesterday, my whatever I hold you past, my you release the name before oh God. God. Talk, to talk to him, talk to him, talk to him, talk to him. Talk to your father. Go ahead and talk to God. Go ahead and talk to your father. Go ahead and talk to your father. Present yourself before him as a living sacrifice. Present yourself before God as a living sacrifice. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There is something the Lord asked me to do for us before we pray. All eyes closed. He says, son, call for me. Those who their heart have been shattered unjustly. He said, call that lady. They raped. And she had vowed never to forgive. Call that lady. Call that young man. That the father slept with her. Call that young lady. That has a heartbreak. Call that woman. That the husband. Abanabited her. And her heart had been crushed. And she had vowed never to forgive all her life. Call that woman. That the heart has been broken. God, that lady that wants to kill herself. Because of betrayer. Wherever you are. If you are that person. Your heart has been crushed. God said, look, it is blocking everything in your life. Run to here now. All eyes closed. I'm following the leading of God. Close your eye whenever and you are. count of seven. If I don't see you, I'm true with that. One. We've come to draw. Run. Draw. Run. Draw. Run. Draw from you. Run. Come. Yeah. Come now. Yeah. Come now. My heart is broken. We my heart come is to crushed. Draw. Healing. Draw. My heart is crushed. Draw from you. I don't even know who yeah. I am. Who will believe me? 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 I follow the leading of the Lord. Who will believe me? Who will believe me? Who will believe me? Who will believe me? Come he crushed draw. my heart. Draw. He crushed my heart. Draw. He crushed. Draw from you again. We are the same man. Where is that man? We've come to draw. There are about four men in that crowd. Come now. Draw from you. Hear me. Hear me. God is saying, I don't know what is happening to me, but I'm hearing some strange things tonight. He said, Look at you. You make love with animal. Cameraman, take this camera one side a little bit for me. If you leave me now, where will I go? Now, all eyes closed. Run down here. If you leave me now, where Shut will it down I be? Now, God is calling you. Opportunity is given to you for life. This kind of call for generation, you may not hear it. But I want to give you that chance. With those who have heart have been broken. Join those groups whose heart have been broken now.